Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is war number seven. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Sith Eternal Army. Ew. All right, so let's see who they've banned. They banned Gallen, so I hate y'all. Ooh, and they've also banned Nimrod. Interesting to see who they uh, line our path with. So let's go ahead and uh, spectate. And we'll come up with a plan before we go in. Okay, nobody there. Oh, that's Howard the Duck. He gets lots of armor ups. Good. Namor it is. Oh, we've got Idoom. The Overseer it is. And Nimrod. Good. Nebula it is. So Nebula, Nimrod, I mean, not sorry, Nebula, Namor. Actually, wait a minute. Let me think about this. Because the Overseer for Idoom, Nebula, I can take that Nimrod. But then we've got these guys down here. Um... We've got Warlock, who definitely has an armor up. Uh, so I want somebody who is shock immune there. And I really would like somebody who is bleed immune here. That could be um, Nebula. She could do this fight, I believe. So instead of Namor... I might bring uh, Hulkling. Yeah. I might bring Hulkling for this Howard the Duck for that Warlock. Nebula for uh, Cap Sam Wilson and for that Nimrod, the Overseer for I doom. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Uh, let me see here. Look around a little bit. Give you guys a look-see. Ooh, well, I don't have uh, Diablo, so I won't be doing that. Yeah, I don't think I have anybody really, really good for this, except maybe the Overseer. Maybe. But take a look down here, see who they laid out. Okay, so yeah, I think Hulkling, Overseer, and Nebula. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so I'm going in with um, the Overseer, Nebula, and Hulkling. All three are some powerhouses. And I still haven't decided whether I want to take Nebula up to rank four or not, since she seems to be doing very well at rank three. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, the first fight is against Howard the Duck. And I'm sure my opponents figured, ha, we banned Gallon. So we'll put in Howard the Duck with all of his armor ups, and it's going to give him a bad time. Now, I could have used Namor here as well, but I had need of Hulkling later. So Hulkling is just crazy. Now, you see what's happening right there? I'm trying to hit into his block, and every time I'm going at him, he's coming at me. This is something the AI does when you gain benefit from hitting their block. They don't want to block. But I got him. And right now, I'm just waiting, waiting. Look at, look at Hulkling's health. Really nice, okay? Look at this. 
It don't matter if he's blocking or not. Take him down. And look at Hulkling's health at the end of that fight. All right, so I'm not going to take this Toad. Uh, I thought about it, and they they did ban, um, if I remember correctly, uh, Nimrod, who would have been perfect for that fight. So one of my alliance mates took that fight and um, had a little trouble uh, with Toad. No surprise. Hate Toad. Um, he's, he's a, he could be a very nasty defender. So they, they did a good job banning Nimrod and having him there. Now, you guys already know what's going to happen to this infamous Iron Man. And if you watched my videos, you know that the first time I encountered him on this node, he whooped my butt. And I said, oh no, this is not going to happen again. And it has not. In fact, every time I see infamous Iron Man right there, I call him. My, my alliance mates already know he's mine. Just chill. Don't nobody touch him because I'm a bet. Ew. How, how, how many of you remember that? The boy's phony has a $3 bill. Cool mode D, man. Uh, but anyway, this is a pretty straightforward fight. And for comparison purposes, I want you guys to see his damage and all that good stuff. I got lucky right there. Um, I should have waited out that uh, aura, whatever. Um, but I got lucky he did not punish me for that. Um, but between this, if, if I remember correctly, this fight and the next war, I dumped a bunch of Sig Stones into him. No, no, no. I did it here. Okay. I was looking up there to see if I saw the green glow. So you'll have to look in a previous one. But he is a good hundred sigs or more higher than he was the last time I used him in war. I don't know if it all counted um, because I did it while he was already in the war, uh, which is why he that, has that green. Now, let me tell y'all something about this fight. Um, I need some practice against this guy. All right. Now, this should be a pretty straightforward, simple fight. All right. He locked on. All right. No problem. Okay. Now, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. The shock is, is still working him over. Now, you saw that special? That's the special I want from him. But I pushed him to a special too. Okay. And I want you to see this. I'm blocking. Look at that damage. That threw me all the way off. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know? And I'm like, what, what, what just happened? So I, I, I fired off my special three. Not really wanting this three. I wanted to spy, uh, fire off a two. And I'm just like, okay, okay. Um, and then... I pushed him to a special two again. Can y'all tell me why I did that? I was in panic mode. I completely forgot that his special two was the one I didn't want. And right there, let me tell you, I was screaming. You saw her moving backwards because I don't know how to evade his special two. And I realized when I saw him go up, that it was the special two that I needed to avoid and what did all that damage before. So I started backing up, trying to hope that I could evade some of that. Didn't work. So he's going to get the treatment of the infamous Iron Man. And I'm going to take him out when I see him on my path. And it's going to be glorious. But he got the better of me this time. It's all good. Um, a lot of us were, were just not doing too well in this war. Um, I think all of us on the left-hand side uh, died at least one time uh, in this war. 
All right, so here we go with Hulkling. And you see, once again, he's dropped his uh, block. He's got his hands down. He does not want to block. You know, look at it. Very aggressive. Okay, finally, he's blocking. I'm just like, man, come on. I'm trying to get some of them Pierce buffs up there. You know? Okay, there we go. It's really annoying when the AI won't do that. All right. There we go. I was unblockable. Now I need to bait out that special two because nobody wants to get hit with his special three. And there we go. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. Watch my bar. I have a special three right now, right? I tried to hit it. It didn't work. I tried to hit it again. He fired his. Okay. And finally, I was able to fire mine. So from the time I had my special three, I tried to move and hit my special. Didn't work. Then I tried to hit it. He fired his. Really annoying. That has happened several times. But because I am, you know, familiar with that particular issue, I was ready. Okay. So uh, bait out that special two again. And boom. He's down. Hulkling is a beast. Okay. I absolutely love Hulkling. Uh, if I got a rank five cosmic, it would be between him and Hercules. It would definitely be between those two. Um, I don't actually know at this point which one I would choose. Because Hercules is a beast right as he is. You know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I would choose Hercules, but we'll see. Eventually, they're both going up to rank 5. So, anyway. Um, I was kind of mad at myself because, of course, uh, I lost Nebula. And I actually went back out because I, I think I, I used the wrong... Uh, revive, I think it. I think I, I, I chose the wrong revive. I, I can't remember. Um, because I don't often have to do this, and so I'm like, Ugh. um, the, the good news is that the loyalty that you get, even when you um lose, is enough to compensate for what I would usually spend. So if we win, we get a lot more bonus, right? But even if we lose, it will cover at least, you know, a uh, well, definitely a revive since it only costs like one loyalty, but it'll cover at least, uh, what, two health potions, maybe three. So as long as I keep it down to that, I'm good. So you guys already know what's gonna happen in Nimrod. I'm building up my shock charges and like I said, it doesn't matter whether he's a rank four, a rank five, um, Nebula gonna take it to him. And so, I don't know, I don't know. Perhaps uh, she's fine at uh, rank three. Maybe I'll take her to rank four because she does have a low block proficiency and she does take a lot of damage into her block. Maybe ranking her up would help with that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we both just stop staring at each other when I look in your eyes. Anyway, here we go. Ba -ba -bam, boom. And I don't care now. Tick, tick, tick. He, he had a special two. It wouldn't have mattered. Even if he had tried to, to fire it off, he would have gone down before he finished it. Anyway, uh, I believe that is the last fight that I had for this war. Uh, so, um, didn't have any fights on Mini Boss Island this time. So, in a minute, we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. <laughs> And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. The war was actually closer than I thought it would be. You know, we, we just uh, died too much. Like I said, you know, I died, and I know uh, my alliance mate died, and I think the other alliance mate died too. It, it just was a not-so-great performance for any of us. Uh, well, for some of us. 
And as you can see, you know, it wasn't that far off, you know, from them. But we should have won that fight. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, Huss, it's a legend. MVP. And he does a good job organizing us and everything like that. Uh, Danny Dene uh, is in a different um, BG and BT, BBB. What is that, bulletin board? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, shout out to all three of them, our MVPs. And that is going to do it for the video. Take care. Hit the like button. It really does help me out. Helps me grow. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.